Hey, it's Random Code here, and today we're going to continue working, or in this case, I'll just showcase the functionality of our now fully functional crude front end dashboard. So we now at a point where we have a MySQL database in a Docker container. We then have a Spring Boot application service backend in another Docker container. These are connected through Docker Compose. But now we then have a React app running locally where the next step is going to be also to dockerize this setup. And for now, I have finished all the basic root functionality in our front end dashboard. So we can let's go through all the functionality. We have already read all the users from our database. So we have the read functionality. We can then click new user to then add a new user. So let's do a name. Oh, let's see if we can be a bit creative today and actually use proper names and emails and statuses. But Eva and we have Eva. Uh, um, let's say her status is also active. Remember, all the statuses are just strings, so they can be whatever. But we can then submit this one. I've been adding and deleting a few users since last restart, so we're now at ID 16. But actually, the ID doesn't matter at all, and I would probably remove the showing of IDs here in a more real user dashboard. But we can then keep adding. So let's add a few more just to work. So we have Hans Eva and we can also add multiple input areas, which are then kept active even if we do. I'm very bad at being creative. Let's do it. Dan. Dan at mail.com and a status of done. And we submit this one. We still have the other ones open and they can be needed. We now can also edit the new functionality I've added since last time, which then changes this user input, this user's issue information showing into a user input area. But we still contain our done, then add email.com, done. We can restore, just keep it simple, or we can edit. We say, oh, it's actually not done, it's then two. And so email is status fine, and we can update it. And it is then updated here. And if we also reload our page, we can still see. Do it by full reload. We can see it's actually still updated. So it's also updated in the database. And last but not least, we can also delete them. And if we reload, we're back to start. And just to quickly recap, we have all our good functionality. So we can create new users, we can update a user, we can read a user. That's what we have here, reading from the database, and we can delete it. Uh, let's see if I see how to do this. No. And one Funny little side thing to note is actually because this email is an email input field in HTML, it actually requires me to put like at some thing.com, for example. It requires me a proper email. There's probably some kind of regex check, which is actually a fun little extra check that I didn't add intentionally. But that is all our crude functionality. And for now, as mentioned, we have this project. We have a backend database on the front end where the backend and the database are already Dockerized and built using Docker Compose. So the next step will simply be for me to now Dockerize my React application. I think we can do it very simply. So we could do like Nginx, so having like a extra layer of service or server handling all the traffic. But now we're just going to keep it very simple. So we're just going to put our React more or less directly into the container. And then there needs to be a few because I didn't do it the best way where our connections, for example, the database right now are looking at a localhost URL, you need to be looking at the other Docker containers URLs or indirectly just by the Docker container name. But that will be the fixes for the next video, showcasing how we then Dockerize our React. And in the K end, we will end up having a full functional Docker Compose where we can just simply start this Docker Compose setup. And it should now have a fully functional setup with both our database, backend, and frontend. But if you enjoyed this quick showcase of our current state, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful 